Hey y'all, hi, I'm Jeremy. I uh, hope you're doing well. This will be a random Bible reading. Not so random Bible reading. This will be uh, Luke 15. Uh, mostly the story of the, the, the lost sheep and uh, lost sheep and the prodigal son, which I was a prodigal son. But let's read this, get into this um, first. But um, <laughs> first and foremost, I, I hope your day went well. From uh, beginning to end that you don't know how it was going to go this morning, but it went well. It went well and uh, you may not have known how it was going to go at work, but it did go well that you fulfilled your mission, your purpose for today. That God sent you somebody that you were supposed to help or you were supposed to meet somebody or gain some knowledge and wisdom for somebody or your heart was to change or... <sighs> Something like that, that there was a change, that uh, a transforming of your mind, a new perspective uh, on people, on what God is doing, God, God's doing in your life and what he's doing in other life and others life and how many hurt and sick people are out there and people in need and how many blessings are out there too, to um, not take for granted the blessings that we have, that we have uh, this air that we breathe, that our legs work. Some of us and uh, our extremities work our heart still beats we breathe we have food and shelter and heat and uh, transportation and facilities that we can go to if we need um need medical care or <laughs> fitness facilities or uh, or we have friends friends we can go to or we have pastors that we can go to but um, regardless of all that we have the word of God we can go to for God so loved the world, and that for God so loved the world that He gave He gave His only begotten Son. That whoever, whoever that includes you, whoever that believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Even God created cats. <laughs> he looked at them and He said, "Ah, that's pretty good." Yes. Yep. So cool. Let's get into it. All right. I pray you're doing well. Try to focus for a few minutes. This is a pretty important story. There is um, many, many testimonies about this that where I was uh, the prodigal son or a lost sheep and God saw me and he pursued me. He came after me. So cool. Check this out. Very good. The parable of the lost sheep. Now the tax collectors, this is Luke 15. Now the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to him, and the Pharisees and the scribes grumbled, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. And he told them this parable, What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. The parable of the lost coin, Luke fifteen eight. Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp and sweep the house and seek diligently until she finds it? And when she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I had lost. Just so, I tell you, there is joy before the angels of God over one sinner who repents. All right, the parable of the prodigal son. And he said, There was a man who had two sons. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share of property that is coming to me. And he divided his property between them. Now many days later, the younger son gathered all he had and took a journey into a far country. And there he squandered his property in reckless living. And when he had, when he had spent everything, a severe famine arose in that country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country, who sent him into the fields to feed pigs. And he was longing to be fed with the pods that the pigs ate, and no one gave him anything. But when he came to himself, he said, 
How many of my father's hired servants have more than enough bread, but I perish here with hunger? I will arise and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt compassion and ran and embraced him and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring quickly the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and bring the fattened calf and kill it. And let us eat and celebrate, for this is my son. For this my son was dead, and is alive again. He was lost and is found, and they began to celebrate. Now his older son was in the field, and as he came and drew near to the house, he heard music and dancing, and he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said to them, Your brother has come, and your father has killed a fattened calf, because he has received him back safe and sound. But he was angry, refused to go in. His father came out and entreated him. But he answered his father, Look, these many years I have served you. I have never disobeyed your, your command. Yet you never gave me a young goat that I might celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours came, who has devoured your property with prostitutes, you killed the fattened calf for him. And he said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that is mine is yours. It was fitting to celebrate and be glad, for this is your brother, for this your brother was dead and is alive. He was lost, and he is now found. Luke 15. Hmm. Very awesome. Cool. Luke 15, the word of God, that is midnight. How old are you, midnight? Midnight, are you eight years old yet? Say no. Eight months old? Come here, babe. So cool. I was a lost and broken down young man. Yep, I really was. I was far, far away doing things I shouldn't be doing, living a way I shouldn't be living, trying to make God my own God, living the way that I I thought was good. I was a, a good person in the, the worldly sense, good. But I sinned against God probably every day or, or even... If I didn't every day sin against God, which I know I know I did for a fact, I wasn't obedient. Obedient, I didn't listen to Him, and I didn't honor honor things that He blessed me with, or the people that are around me. I was a jerk uh, to a lot of people, and sarcastic to a lot of people, and always tried to joke around about serious things just to hide things, hide things, and hide how I was really feeling on the inside. Prodigal son, so. Ran far away from God, but God saw me, and yet he pursued me. Pursued me because he loves me. He created me. Yeah, cool. And look where I am today. I have been redeemed. I have been set free. I have been qualified now. And uh, without doing anything except for, for, for surrendering my life to the free gift, the free gift of salvation that Jesus Christ offers us, that the Heavenly Father offers offered his son on the cross as a, a living sacrifice he offered it to us that whoever believes whoever 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 that's a strong word whoever believes yeah whoever shall not perish but have everlasting life pretty amazing pretty amazing yes and he wants to make us more like his son he wants to make us more holy more righteous, we call the righteousness of God, but the Bible tells us how to live. So it's our roadmap, it's our guidebook, it's our playbook. It is serious, it is the word of God. <laughs> it's undisputable, it's straight up truth and promises and the way to live and uh, yeah, things not to do, things to do, and his history of people rebelling from him and what happened to them <laughs> and how he saved his people. You know, saved him out of slavery and many, many other things and sent people like Paul to, 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 to preach to the cities that were just full of sin and death and all types of immorality. Crazy. But speaking of just you, the lost sheep, he came after you 
and he put you on the shoulders and told everybody, hey, look, I found my son or my daughter. They were dead and now they are alive. Cool, let's celebrate. <laughs> cool, pretty awesome story. Luke 15, pretty awesome. But we all have a, a testimony now. We are a living testimony. It is in us, it's very powerful. So we have to be able to tell other people. If you don't get an opportunity to tell people your testimony, to show them love. Because you are loved by the Father, you're able to show love to others. You know, people don't don't feel that they're loved or have a big <laughs> they have trouble showing love to others. People that don't put faith in God or have confidence in Christ have have problems showing confidence or trust or faith in other people. So or they have a they live out of position of fear. So there's no more fear, there's no more condemnation. We are been set free, redeemed, we are justified, we are qualified, we are his sons and daughters of Christ, we are the sons and daughters of the most high God that created everything and he loves us. Cool. And he has a plan and purpose for our life. Plan for good and not for evil. To prosper us. Prosper us and give us peace and joy and excitement. And bless us. And build up our character too. So don't think that blessing is going to be, oh, I get to work less. Work less and have more. He wants you out in the field. He needs you out in the mission field among all the other people he has. All right? So whatever your gifting is that he gave you, you're going to have to use that. And you're going to have to use it. Got a little hard for me today. But I know he's building up my character for something huge he's got in the future for me. I love it. It's been a blessed day. Hmm. Love y'all. Take care. Don't let the devil steal anything from you at all. If something awesome happens to you, don't let the devil come and try to take it away from you. All right? Or, or um, yeah, you got me. Love y'all. Make sure to pray. Pray for me, my family. Pray for you and your family. Pray for others. Pray for your church, your pastors. Pray for the pastors, the staff, the whole congregation, every member, everybody that walks into that church. Pray for your house, anybody who walks into your house. All right? All right? That they are blessed. They are, they are blessed and they prote are protected. And they become anointed and favored for God. Hmm. God sees it when you're pursuing Him and honoring Him. And He blesses that. Cool. Love y'all. Take care.